Mm, no. Hello there. How's everybody doing today? That's so um, welcome to That's So Nova. <laughs> My name is Kendall, and I am the husband of the also artistic <laughs> and creative Nova. Um, I have been asked to show how I actually wax fabric for her when she's doing some of her projects to make it waterproof and to make sure that those particular fabrics have a longer life. So what we did is we got a can of Art of Wax and you can actually get this on Amazon. Um, it is waterproofing wax and it's really, really good. How I get it to get very from solid to a liquid is I actually take this, I put it in a small pan on the stove. The pan has water in it, at least half the can, so it doesn't boil all the way out. And I just boil it until it actually is a total golden liquid. Golden. So once I take it from here, I actually put it inside of a small... Put it right here, because I can't see it. Oh, where are we? Right here. Right... No, right here, where my hand is. Oh. <laughs> you got it. it's in view okay. i was just giving you a hard time <laughs> okay um it's a small crock pot and what i do is i just it keeps it liquid number one and then number two it allows me to get solid when it's done and then when i want to come back i still have some left over so it gives it a con <laughs> thank you babe. it gives it a consistent heat mm -hmm. to where um it stays like i said liquid the whole time now when we we started doing this um we actually were doing it with this brush so that brush is great it's cool my wife loves it i love your brush <laughs> it's small okay <laughs> so it doesn't do a lot in the area that i like to do it in so i actually got a really big paintbrush. I'm going to show you just one second. Get some of this wax off. All right. So <laughs> this paintbrush right here, which I can use to paint houses, it gives me a lot more surface. It holds a lot of liquid wax in it, and I can do more in a, sh in a, a short amount of time than with the smaller round one. So I want to give you a, give you a little tutorial of how I handle this and get this chair out of my way because it didn't need it any more. And so if you can hear it in the background, it's really <laughs> look golden and liquidy. So I actually, I just really get the surface really nice and wet. I don't have to make sure it's drenched. Oh, by the way, let me show you something else that I did. So in order for me not to get this all over the table, I took <laughs> a really, really, really big cardboard box. I thought this was important because there's nothing going to get through this. The towel actually allows me to, number one, catch the liquid that goes through. But when I'm actually ironing it, it actually helps smooth out the wax underneath. So it actually goes through kind of perfect like. So that's cool. So um, I will continue to wax. As he's waxing it, he's using, we're using 100% cotton. This cotton came from um, Ohana Fabric. I just purchased it on the President's Day sale for, I think it's like 40% off. It's really pretty. It is. It's Harry Potter. It's the, um, it's the herbs for the potions. So I am going to actually make this into a bag. So there'll be a tutorial on a bag that I'm going to be making. It will most likely be a Georgia stitch or a country cow or noodle head one because they like to feature wax canvas a lot and I do too. So he he has one yard and when you have custom fabric, one yard is um, 54 by 36. So this is a lot of fabric. He um, he's, he's like saturating it, saturating it and I'm gonna let him speak because he does most of this. I just look. Do you have to take out the wrinkles beforehand? No, you do not. Because uh, once you're actually ironing it, you're ironing it from 
salvage to salvage and from um, in, in the bias direction of where the fabric is going. So it actually straightens it out. Um, the positive is, is when I'm done, uh, I actually take it and I put it on two hooks and I hang it up in the basement because what it needs to do once I'm finished ironing it is actually let it for 48 hours. It has to hang and it has to cure. So you have wax like cotton for me and you have wax canvas. Um, which one absorbs more of the liquid that you feel like you use more of the can with? Actually, this right now on this cotton, mm -hmm. it's it's covering without a ton of wax. That's good. Which is good because that leaves me a lot more wax for the next project. So I think the last project I had you actually do duck canvas. Yes. And, and so that did that, that took a lot. Okay. That took a lot. Yeah. So if somebody was to purchase one can on um, Amazon, how much, how many yards of like that say cotton do you think they can get out of one can? Well, my first can, I think I used the whole can and I barely got one yard done. Okay. Because I was really trying to make it look like it was spread all the way from side to side, top to bottom, when I didn't need to do that because the iron actually does that when I'm done. So if you get one can, I'm pretty sure you could probably squeeze out about a yard and a half of just cotton. And then uh, duck canvas, you're just gonna have to try it your first time with the whole can on one yard. And then from there, I would probably say, move to the next level. Okay, so my other question would be when you're applying the can um, the, the the wax canvas onto um, the cotton, do you have to like stifle the wax candle in? Do you have to like are you just brushing it like paint or do you have do you feel like you have to like kind of stifle it in to make sure that it gets in between the weft and the warp? No. I, I'm just painting it like it was paint, but it doesn't have to be like a wall where it's totally covered. Okay. Um, it can have some spots in there where there's not a ton, like right here, because I tried to do a little bit before we started. Um, there's a few spots on here that I probably just need to make sure that I have a little bit on there. And then they're going to see me iron so they can see exactly how this iron is going to work on here. Okay, so why do you have to iron? Uh, the iron actually takes the, the wax itself. If you can see right here. Oh, I'm use iron. an old iron. Do not yes. use. <laughs> oh, yeah, I was going to tell. Don't make this an iron that you use every day for projects because once this wax gets into the iron, it's pretty much a wax iron from that point. Yeah. I don't use this iron for anything else except for completing this. So if you saw a little sheen on there of the wax, once I actually iron it, it just really gets pretty and dark with color because the iron, the wax is actually in here. Can we see the back of it's totally wet. Oh wow, yeah. There was spot there was patches before, but so it spreads out the wax better when once you iron it. Absolutely. What temperature do you have to iron or what setting? I put it high as possible. So like a wool setting? I have it all linen right now. Linen and wool, okay. Mm -hmm. And how long do you keep the iron? Do you, is it a constant motion? I'm just making sure that it's in. It smells like wax, like yes, a it should. candle. Yeah, it should. <laughs> I'm actually just going, just going right across, and I'm not holding it because I'm I not see ironing. The wrinkles coming out as well. The wrinkles okay. Are coming out. Absolutely. So after you're done ironing it, do you go? Do you look at the back to make sure that it's fully saturated, and then if it's not, redo those spots. Once I hang it up. I get a good look at both sides because then that way I can actually hold it up. I can hold it up to light and you can actually see the areas where the, lack, the wax is thin. But right now, if you just to turn this whole thing over, I can guarantee that it looks Ooh, like it's, it's totally wet. It's totally yeah. wet. All the way except the salvage. Oh, yeah. And I don't really need the salvage. I want to do the salvage, but you very rarely have salvage in anything, like never. Yeah. So. <laughs> Because it's a different weft and warp than the regular cotton. It's usually, uh, it's a stronger material because it's usually where they would put their, their uh, like their logo, like this is Camelot 1267. Here's the colors that go with it, blah, blah, blah. Yes. So, and as you can see, the colors really pop. 
Holy crap, yeah. I mean, yes, it does. PG, PG. <laughs> <laughs> yes, holy Jesus. I'm sorry. Holy, did I say that holy. too? I did not say that either. <laughs> oh, bless your heart. Bless your heart. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So I can tell you the story. Um, I was trying to find a small crock pot. Because usually you get a small crock pot when you buy a big crock pot. Yeah. And I went to a secondhand store. Oh, yeah. There's a label on it. And it has a label on it. Here, and put, it, put it in that view right there so they can see. Which so one? This can't put it over. Oh, right let me here. unplug it because it's a really short plug. Okay. Yeah. So he got a secondhand crock pot from a salvage store. Right here? Yep. And if you tilt it, it's $12.99. $12 Yes, so that that was a, a good find, a good steal. Uh, it's how to how to actually take something that's used and make it a treasure. Yeah, and don't unplug your crock pot with the wax in it until you're done waxing because it, it's going to keep the at a consistent temperature, and once it turns off, it cools relatively fast. Really fast. Really fast. And yeah, and this crock pot is only a crock pot for, for the wax. wax. <laughs> yes, we are not taking this out for Thanksgiving and trying to feed somebody. Be like, mmm, waxy oh, rice. What's the, <laughs> Daddy, what is this? So gross. <laughs> the texture. <laughs> oh, I see, like, even there's like some white patches mm -hmm. so already trying it? to solidify. Okay, so 48 hours, sometimes. I know we had to do 72 hours on one of the heavier canvases because it it would it just it just took that long. How do you know when it's done curing? When it's done curing? Yes. Um honestly, I haven't gotten to that point because when I let it sit for 48 hours, you really grab it. <laughs> so I haven't gotten to that point of knowing that. All right, so <laughs> I noticed with regular 100% cotton woven, like quilting cotton like this, 40 hours is enough. Once I get it, I can feel the texture in hand. It's like a weird stabilization. It's very stiff and it just like crinkles beautifully. Now with the duck canvas, it was like visibly, you could see the spots were still drying on the back of, in the front of the canvas. So it took the full 72 hours. Yeah, this, this is... It's really nice and smooth. I know. I think so. Uh, um, Georgia Stitch has a pattern called uh, the Olivia, and I bought it yesterday. And I think this would be a perfect Olivia. Yeah. It's just, it's just the colors are so gorgeous. I'm gonna tell you, tell you guys something. My wife doesn't describe bags to me by what's on the bag. She describes them by the name, as if. They're her children. Here's the weird thing. I, can't I don't know them all by name. I can't remember people's name, but I can remember patterns names. It's super weird. Yeah. I'm really bad. <laughs> I'm really, I like nickname everyone. I'm really bad at names. Yeah, it's okay. So this is almost completely done. Both sides uh, should be nice and thoroughly saturated and as boom. you can see right here i have a farm table so to not ruin my table he has two layers of the box um these are what we call like loki and roxy towels they're like towels that we no longer use ourselves that we use for the dog so see how it's all the way through yeah you can actually see the, how it's still wet it's, you can feel it's starting to get stiff too um and you can see like some of the wet spots and the saturation, that's pretty cool. This was a good print to do it with. Yeah. So people can fully see. And it dries pretty fast and it cures pretty fast. It's already getting super stiff compared to what it was. So with that, this, he has his whole, whole kit. There's an iron, there is the box, there is the towels, and there is um, his crock pot. I still like the little small circular one. When I do little waxing myself, the reason why I like it is like with duck canvas, it has a looser weft and warp in some area. So when I'm stifling it onto there, I can really get into the grain of the fabrics. Okay. Well, this is ready to be hung. All right. So, so just remember when you first start, um, boil that water. Make sure that it is ready to go into your crock pot. Um, as well as you want to make sure that you're just have everything set up because I enjoy the fact that she just like take everything off the table, kid stuff, my stuff, 
my stuff and get it out of the way. Just get ready, do it. And once you get finished with it, it's going to be uh, really nice, really nice. And she hasn't complained about any of them that I've done so far. So, so far, so good. So far, so good. I'm still on the payroll. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> that was not a good thumbs up. It was a thumbs up. They could see it. No, they can't. Thumb. No, they see your thumb, thumb. and your band aid. Yeah. <laughs> they know I injure myself while bag making. They're fully aware. So, if you have any questions about the process, or uh, I think the next project is going to be with beeswax, which I have not used yet. So, uh, she bought some beeswax for me. We're going that to try it out. Yeah, Loki ate that loaded. That's another story. <laughs> So you shouldn't buy things that taste good. I didn't know. I just put it on the table. I didn't know it was going to We eat honey. Dogs eat beeswax. Yeah, the beeswax so, will be next. Uh, so beeswax is going to be next, and I'm looking forward to it because it's a different texture. It's not as hard as the um, as the outer wax. Outer wax is really hard when you first get it. So I'm looking forward to that, and we'll see if we do a video for that one also for the next time. And uh, if you have any questions, please leave any comments, questions below. Okay. Oh, I forgot. We're coming back yeah. because I have to show you how it's going to look in 48 hours. Yeah. So we're not done with it. And that. then I'll, I'll put links to where we got the beeswax. Yes. And um, the iron is just the older iron that we, instead of like throwing it away, we use it for. We have about four or five irons. Yeah. And I've only found two. I don't know where they go. That are not being used. I think there's a vortex in our house that takes iron and socks. And socks, yeah. Stupid socks. Stupid socks. <laughs> All right. So we'll be back in 48 hours to show you the rest, and we'll go from there. I hope, well, I don't want to sign off. That's yeah. weird. See you in a few. Okay, bye. <laughs> okay, so we're back. Kendall's not here for the second part, I know. I'm sad, but he was able to do the first part. I wanted to finish it so I can get this out. He gets out of work around, he doesn't get home until like six something. By that time, he's like spent. So I wanted to go into the wax canvas. So this is the canvas he waxed. He hung this up in our basement. And I, I kept these on here so you can see um, by like little clothes hangers that are like clippable. I think you can get these at um, any kind of... Uh, tailoring place laundering place but you also can get them on amazon and we have this is all wax now and it has full body and structure it's completely dry the the dark colors you see are just the pigmentation showing in the back this is ready to go but i wanted you to see because i had him not wax this part the edge and see how it's thin and i just here i'll do that's that's just the regular. It has more it has more bodies. This one, the edge of this wants to just fold on itself. This wants to kind of just stand. He's right. I never use the salvages. He couldn't he should have painted all the way to the end on this, but he didn't. It doesn't matter. I'm still gonna use everything I can because this is a beautiful print. But now that I have this, I can make a wax bag and there are a lot of a lot a lot of designers who love wax canvas for one country cow you have um georgia girl stitch you have noodle head um and more and more like car threads and all these people are coming out with it because it's such a beautiful thing to do to any cotton so like imagine just getting one of your tulip pink. Let's say you have the Elizabethan, the two door one, and you're like, people are selling this for buku cash. I want to cut it into it and make it a bag, but I'm afraid the bag won't last that long. This is a treatment you can do, and it won't ruin your um, fabric. It enhances it and it makes it water resistant and make it stain resistant. So it's one of my favorite treatments to do. So I highly recommend you trying to give it a try. I will have a link where you can get the wax bars from um, in from Amazon, but I believe you can get also wax bars from like Fabric Funhouse and just pretty much a little bit everywhere. Um, it's a it's a great treatment to do. It's it's easy to put on. It's a little bit messy. You see, we had the small crock pot. We tried different paint brushes. I still believe in the circle dab 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 brush because I feel like it just like I don't know. It's like one of those precision circle toothbrushes. I prefer those over the normal size because you can get into spots that 
the bigger one can't get into. That's my opinion, but you heard my husband saying he likes the paintbrush because it's a little bit more uh, coarse and he feels like he can really get into the fiber. So try different things. His method with the paintbrush is cheaper because you can get you can get paintbrushes even at secondhand stores. You heard him say that he got a small crock pot for like $12 and sometimes people have them in their house from their bigger crock pot and don't even use it and that could be now used for something. Um, this is this is one way I do this oil cloth. There, it doesn't have tons of crinkles because this is the, the oil cloth that I use. It's supposed to make it not have crinkles, but soft to the touch. But what, you can tell, you can feel the treatment. It's like soft to the touch, but it's kind of just like sleek because it's now water resistant. And I'm trying to see, do I have water here? That would be awesome. Hold on, let me get some water. <laughs> So you can see that I was like, I'm missing something. What am I missing? Oh yes, the water. So I'm going to take um, a little bit of distilled water and oh my goodness, <laughs> see how it just pulls? It just pulls. And then it's not coming through on the other side. So I feel like that will be good. And so, and I can show you because I can absorb it on the edge. The other, on the edge, it wants to absorb because it doesn't have wax. But on the rest, it just wants to pull. So I thought that would be, that was a good example. Yay, Nova! Okay, so that is wax canvas for you uh wax oil skid i'm going to have kendall do a tutorial on beeswax maybe this weekend i'm hoping to have this one out really soon to you guys and i'm really excited about it so thank you for um being patient with me i hope you enjoyed this nova nova's nugget if you have any questions comments leave them down below if you're like oh my god you guys are awesome i want to support you we do have a kofi and i'll put the link down below as well if you want to see other treatments like Oda Coat or beeswax or um, caulking, is there something I was reading something about like caulking glue? I, I have never done it. I'm curious, but I feel like it's not organic. It, I have a lot of questions on it. So um, just leave a message uh, down below and I will get back to you. And I'm glad I was able to show you this cool tutorial. And yeah, the water is still moving around <laughs> so it's a great thing to have and i'm really excited so i hope everyone has a really good day you stay safe and happy sewing and thank you for being stopping by bye